Sam's delimitation proposal has now been released. Remember, it has been in the talks for a very long time. And now finally, the Election Commission has published the draft delimitation plan. And this is going to be charting out the way forward for the state to get better representation, where there are some assembly seats are now going to be remaining, however, at 126. So let me go across to Madhav Das Gopalakrishnan. Madhav, you must explain to us, the Lok Sabha seats are going to remain the same, so will the assembly seats. What's the draft blueprint for uh, delimitation? In the case of Assam, however, it has been hanging fire for over four decades. So uh, even in the state of Jammu and Kashmir, for instance, where it took place in the 90s, there was recently a delimitation exercise that was carried out. Now, in the case of Assam, due to multiple political considerations and other issues within the state of Assam, it had not been done for over four decades. That uh, is going to be under now as a draft delimitation proposal for Assam has, in fact, been uh, published. And uh, this is till July 11th that suggestions and objections have been invited. The Election Commission is set to visit Assam again in July 2023 for public hearing on the draft proposal and also very important that they have received representations from 11 political parties and 71 organizations when they visited in March earlier this year. So a very, very important and long-pending demand that has been fulfilled by the Election Commission this time around. Uh, very important that 19 Assembly seats and two parliamentary seats have been reserved for scheduled tribes. Nine Assembly seats and one parliamentary seat has been re reserved for scheduled caste. So very very important. Uh, the details of what really has been proposed are there in black and white at the moment. And this is something that we will be seeing implemented now in coming days as well.